So I created a tool that will uh, encode your source code of a project to an image. And um, on the PC side, I also created a tool to decode that image. This way you can backup your Fuse 4 projects to PC. There is no way to import them, but, but at least you can backup your code. So I'll show you how it works. This is the code. I shared it also, but it's still pending. But the code is also on GitHub. Um, so basically here you have to put your code. So let me try an example project. Let's take a small project, the little plasma. You basically copy all your code. Control C, escape. Go back to the share program that creates the, the image. And paste it in the test variable, basically here. So delete this line. And now the code is there. If suppose you have a, a print statement here, I'm not sure if I have any. No, I don't think so. I have any. No. Suppose you have a uh, this character here, you will see it, it creates a problem what you in your code. So what you will have to do is then uh, type this. For every, for every character, for every double quote, you have to type this. The CRGR34 uh, makes sure that there is a double quote printed in the, in the string. But for now, I did not need this for this example, but it's just so you know. So now the code is there, and then I press, I run the program. It has generated uh, the, the image. I can save it. Uh, if you use the switch, you must save in uh, 1280 by 720 and share using Facebook or something. Um, then uh, I use the program I created from my GitHub, where you can download it. Uh, where did I put it? In my C temp. Okay, you select the image that was just saved or that you transferred from your views to Facebook and then save the image without changes of course. Then you click process and here is your code. Um, also if you want to be sure the code is ex exactly the same. After the image has been posted on the app in views, it will show you the CRC. Uh, and then you can compare the CRC, and as you can see, it's equal. That will mean there are no differences found between the image, between the coder that was encoded to a picture and the coder that was decoded back to uh, the image that was decoded back to a text. So your coder is exactly the same. Um, if you have multiple, if your coder, for, for example, would take up more than one screen, it will show the first screen, then the CRC code, then the second screen, then the CRC code, and so on, until all code is um, submitted. And basically what you have to do is the code will remain here, and you can select another, the, the next picture. Let's take something, and then uh, press process again, and it will add the code right below it. So that way you can concatenate uh, multiple screens to one uh, code example, to one code export. Uh, then you can save also, if you want to save this picture, this, uh, this program on your PC, just create a folder somewhere. Use backup projects. Use Okay, and this was my, uh, what was it called? I 
Oh yeah, simple plasma. It will save it as txt. Now it has been saved. You can also clear where it does not need it. And if I go look to the tweet, let me take notepad plus plus. Uh, in my documents. Views, backup project, and here is your code. You can now place it on, on the forums or uh, on GitHub, or uh, you can use parts of code to show to people uh, for, uh, for functions that you created or something. So yeah, very simple tool and it allows you to export your code from Fuse to PC.